Hey guys, my name is Chandan and you're watching Educate India. This is a very important video because we are going to learn how to create a build pipeline in Azure DevOps. So if you are looking your career in DevOps, so definitely this is one of the most important part of DevOps. So interviewer can ask, do you know how to create CI/CD pipeline? Then you can answer, yes, I know how to create pipeline in Azure DevOps. So there are some basic steps you need to follow and you'll be able to create a pipeline in Azure DevOps. So what is the need of pipeline? So pipeline can automatically build your code. It can test your code and it can trigger the deployment to any cloud environment or anywhere. So that's why pipeline is very important. And in this video, we are going to learn how to create a build pipeline. So in Azure DevOps, we have repos section where we have stored our .NET Core project and we are going to create a build pipeline in pipelines and you have option of pipeline. So here you have option of releases also there you can create release pipeline, but first we are going to create a build pipeline. So I'm just clicking here and I'll just simply click on new pipeline. Here it will give you option to connect like where is your code? So it's a very simple question. Where is your code? So you have if you have code at Azure repo, so you can select here or Bitbucket or any other source. So this is like configuring your source, where is your code? So right now I'm going to use a classic editor to create a pipeline without YAML because if you select some anyone, so it is going to create a YAML file and that is different way of creating the pipeline. But classic editor is a little bit easy for you and so we'll start with classic editor. So if you click classic editor, then here again you need to select like uh, select a source again the same thing where is your code so this is not a yaml file it's like ui you just need to select but if you go with yaml file there you need to write some code or script so i have just selected our code is at azure devops so i have just selected azure repos git and then the team project name then the repository name and the branch from where you want to tr trigger the build so you need to select a branch. So right now we have one master branch. So we have selected from master branch. We want this build pipeline and uh, we'll hit continue. And either you can go with empty job. So if you are selecting empty job, then it is going to just create one pipeline with agent. So there will be no any task. So you you can later on, you can add task by just clicking plus option there. So you, you have different way of adding task there. But in this case, they are providing you some predefined template like oh, what kind of project are you going to build so it is a dotnet desktop or android project or asp.net project or azure web so then it is going to add some task for you so it knows if your project is related to dotnet so then it is going to add some build related task and so you know uh, it will it will just help you in creating that pipeline by adding the predefined task so i'm going to select dotnet core because we have .NET Core project. So you can see ASP.NET Core template is already available. So I'll just hit apply and then it will add these many tasks. So if you'll select empty job, so it is not going to add any task here. It will just add an agent job and then you need to add task by clicking on plus option. So if you'll click plus, so you can, you know, select and you can hit add. So by this you will be adding. Okay. So I have selected a template. So it's added some task related to dotnet core so now if i'll see so we have one task option here we have build pipeline and you can see in build pipeline the name of the pipeline and what is the agent pool and then uh, what is the agent specification so you know uh, we'll discuss about these things in detail in upcoming videos but you can understand like this agent is required to run this pipeline so you are going to run this pipeline on any machine or any agent so by default you can select the azure pipeline so it is provided by azure like it's azure agent or if you want to run this particular build in your machine or in your private uh, windows or linux machine so you can configure that agent and you can select that agent here so here you'll have option to select any private agent or hosted so hosted by default azure is providing one hosted agent azure pipeline and if you are a new user or if you have a free account in azure devops then you need to request to azure uh, the microsoft to provide to enable that particular agent pool for you so i have also requested so they have just enabled that and so i am able to run this pipeline 
and once you selected that then you need to give the agents a specification like you want to run this particular uh, jobs or or tasks on which particular machine like uh, any mac or ubuntu or windows so you can select so i'm just going to run this let's say on windows 2016 and then you know some additional parameters you can configure here like project related if you go to agent job so here also you will have same kind of things so here you can select like agent pool so inherit from pipeline like whatever you selected there do you want to use the same or here also you can select a particular agent if you want so i'll keep it same because we are going to use the same whatever we selected there okay and then once you configure the agent pool here so and and there are some other options that we'll discuss later so i'm just going to create one basic pipeline so and in the upcoming videos we'll discuss in detail like what are demands and what are parallelism and these these many options but first i'm just i just want to show a uh, creating a, a basic pipeline with basic task and how it is going to run okay so we selected the agent now it has already added the task so we are calling it task so this is agent and agent will have its task okay that will run on this agent so first task is dotnet restore so if you see here we have uh, the name of the task and then we have the command what command are we going to run so it will have many different dotnet commands so it selected restore by default and uh, then you know path to the project so by default it selected like any cs proj file it is going to run it is going to pick and it is it is going to run a, a restore command on that particular project and if you are adding any task by yourself just by clicking plus option so you will have option so we'll have option to give your own own path if you want to run any particular project so you can give path here by just defining the project path first restore will happen then again build will happen and then it will run all the test related command like dotnet test on the test.cs pros and uh, then it is going to publish that particular project and it is going to publish that artifact on artifact staging directory of azure devops okay and we have some addition, additional options that we'll discuss in upcoming videos and uh, this this particular thing is very important that i'll just want to highlight here so we have some triggers so let's say if you are committing the code and if there is any change in that particular branch so do we want to enable that continuous integration so if you will enable this continuous continuous integration then it will automatically run whenever you will modify the code change and you will just merge that particular code in that branch so you can define like from which branch we have enabled the continuous integration so it's going to automatically run this pipeline so it's ci continuous integration okay and uh, there are some other like history who has changed the pipeline and all and some additional options we'll discuss it later so we have created a basic pipeline with basic task dot net related task so now we are going to save it and we'll we'll first give it a different name so let's say asp net core pipeline 2 because we already have one pipeline and uh, i'll just hit on save and queue so here also you will have option you can give any comment before running the pipeline or uh, you can just choose a different agent pool or different machine or branch also you can configure and i'll just hit save and run so it's telling starting run let me go and check i want to stay here I think something wrong happened let me again run this machine run this pipeline yep so this time it ran okay that also ran so if we'll go here we can see it is running all the tasks so first it's, it's uh, running the agent job then it's doing the checkout to the project then restoring and then build and then testing the project and then publishing and publishing to the artifacts so if you'll open the build we can see build is successful with zero warning and zero errors and uh, in test it's telling like matching the specified pattern were not fine so there is no any test project so that's why it's telling no test projects and uh, it published the project so we can see demo.dll 
and then finally it published to staging directory so let's let's open the pipeline again and let's see the build so this is the second time we ran it okay so let's open this and let's see here it's telling one published project so if i click here and if i'll open this so you can see this zip file so this zip file have all the information about your project executables okay so it will have all the dlls so you can open it and you can see your dlls so i hope you understood like how we can create a basic build pipeline in azure devops in the upcoming videos i'm going to show you how we can configure the different pipelines how we can create a variable uh, variables for that pipelines and what are the significance of those variables or if you want to run the docker related task or if you want to run any customized task or any kind of different task like you can add any any number of task in the in that particular pipeline you just keep on adding different different tasks that will perform different different operations so we'll explore some more features of azure devops in upcoming videos so keep learning and thanks for watching